Hello and welcome to our virtual tour of our 2021 Mitsubishi ASX LS. A little bit about our Super Pacific Toyota and Lexus of Cairns. I am standing at one of two of our pre-owned vehicle yards where we go through about 200 vehicles in a month, making us the largest pre-owned vehicle department here in Queensland. Now we've got a showroom there where we actually photograph each and every vehicle as they come through to the yard. And as you can see, quite a variety here at our main yard just near DFO. Across the road, you've got parts and services and the brand new part of Toyota and Lexus just out the back. And you make your way towards the city, you'll actually come across a second pre-owned vehicle yard as well. Throughout the video though, I'll be going around the ASX here in complete detail, just pointing out any blemishes that may appear at the first point of sale. Start down around the front with the nice big alloy wheels, just making sure there's no scratching or gutter rash. And just checking we've got plenty of tire tread there. Now that is part of the roadworthy certificate, including that driveway price here in Queensland. Yeah, we do have a little imperfection here that looks like it's been brush touched. So we do like to be transparent in these videos and point out any of these type of markings when we come across them. As you can see, nice, clean, tidy front end. We've got that lovely diamond shape to them, giving them that lovely appeal. And around the front here, no real markings, dings, dents or damages. No, mass no scratching, stone chips of that across the bonnet, nice and clean and tidy. You can get a great reflection of the paint there. Uh, but there's a little bit of light dust as well, just from the shade cloths. Down the passenger side, nice straight bodywork. We'll cover each panel as we go through those imperfections though. Uh, passenger front, again, no scratching on the alloys. Plenty of depth in the tyre. As we make our way down, nice and tidy. No damages on the side mirror. Now you got the little black button there, that's for your keyless entry. Been the LS model. And down that passenger side. Nice and straight and tidy, that reverse angle giving you great coverage. So yeah, I have just noticed on that reverse angle for you. One little dent marking just in there. Try and show you in the video, very minor. But like I said, we do like to be transparent. Passenger rear, no scratching or gutter rash again, and plenty of depth in that tire. So great to see that consistency as we are making our way around the vehicle. And around the back end, nice and clean and tidy. Now you do have your proximity sensors built in. Uh, you've also got your reverse camera just there. That was in action a little bit later on. Along the rear bar here, looks like we've had a couple little minor brush touches being done. But overall, very clean and tidy. No big chunks out of the back. While we're here though, we'll have a look inside the boot for you. Plastic and carpets, all in excellent condition. As you can see, the seats are nice and flat as well, giving you great storage space in the back if need be. And as we have a look underneath, just make sure we've got our jack tools and uh, spare wheel in there as well. So parcel shelf still in great condition, hasn't gotten cracked or split through the middle, which is good to see. So look down that driver's side now. Nice and tidy, we'll keep covering each panel. There's a little bit of dirt on that one there, always good to double check. And that fourth and final wheel, Nice and tidy like the rest of the uh, others have been. With plenty of tire tread as well. Beautiful. As you can see down that driver's side, nice straight bodywork. Also, you do have your blind spot mitigation uh, as one of the safety features on here. And we'll go through some of the others once we're inside the vehicle. Excellent. Now on the windscreen, no chips, cracks. Again, part of that roadworthy. And on the roof, no major dings, dents or hail damage. It's getting great reflection off the paint there. Interior wise, door cut in excellent condition. No scratching, scuffing, wear and tear. Pop the seat up for you. Just make sure we're not trying to hide anything in regards to the seat's condition. Cuts, tears, stains, burns or anything like that. Carpet's still in excellent condition as well. A little bit tricky to see as it is getting onto dusk here. Um, but give you the best I can with this video. And that roof lining still in excellent condition also. Beautiful, just before we hop in though, I'll quickly lock it for you. So you've got the electric folding side mirrors there. Easy way to tell if it is locked if you're forgetful like myself. And just simply unlock that fold back out for you. But on the driver's door, nice and tidy. Side mirror controls, that little button there is for your electric folding side mirrors if you do need to manually do so. But as we can see, no wear and tear or damages on the driver's door. Driver's footwell still in excellent condition. Same for that driver's seat. No wear and tears. 
hop in and start it up for you. So you've got the fob key, push button start on the left hand side there. But on the right hand side, we've got our safety features for the blind spot mitigation if we do want to turn it off. Our proximity sensors at the rear, our pre-collision and our lane departure assist there, uh, along with for your headlights. Uh, to slant them up and down to give you a greater vision. And obviously make sure you're not blinding anyone else on the road. Cruise control on the right hand side and all to do with your Bluetooth hands fan the head unit on the left once that's connected. Uh, but you do have your auto lights uh, and auto high beams as well. A little button on the end for it. As we can see though, 27,746 kilometers. And we can check that authenticity shortly with the service history. Uh, now you've got the nice large head unit here where the reverse camera shows up at the back. Gives you great vision on that rear bar. You know exactly where the back of the car is. Now at the moment, any Mitsubishi ASX and Outlander does have the issue of a potential head unit uh, getting covered under warranty. Touchscreen working on the right hand side, uh, but not on the left hand side. So that is simply a replacement by Mitsubishi under warranty. Um, there is a lot of them going through that at the moment, so not to be alarmed. And it is fully covered uh, cost wise by them. All your air conditioning controls though, USB points and traction control along with a 12 volt. And like most nowadays, in an automatic uh, with your normal handbrake. But up front, nice and tidy like the rest of the vehicle's been. No fading, cracking, stickiness across the dash. And then the day that is another roadworthy item. And just double check, make sure it's at least had its service done. Which I believe the Mitsubishi, I think, is 20,000 recommended for their first one. Or 15,000, they've had one done there at 20. Next one's not due till about 30 or even 35. So a good bit of time for the next service. Last but not least, we'll jump out and have a look underneath the bonnet though while it is running. Uh, obviously make sure those services have paid off for you. Underneath the bonnet, nice and tidy. Just making sure there's no rust or red dust. Again, that is part of the road. Um, obviously making sure, so you wouldn't expect it on a vehicle like this. But as we listen to it run, no major knocks, rattles or squeals either. Um, but that was our virtual tour of our 2021 Mitsubishi ASX LS. I hope you enjoyed and look forward to hearing from you soon. Thank you.